Hi everyone, Letty here. Welcome to another craft with me. I'm gonna use some not too shabby items. We're gonna do a Valentine's Day project. We're making a Kit Kat candy bar decorated sleeve using these items. So welcome back everyone. I took out some items from the not too shabby shop, some Valentine items. I do have an affiliate link. I'll link down below in case you do wanna make a purchase that helps my channel grow. So I took out some items from their recent box of the month. This one's Lattes of Love. This one's 12 designs, 24 double-sided sheets. This is a six by six paper pad. Really Really cute. I think this is one of my favorites uh, from the Valentine's collections. And so then there was also coordinating ephemera pack, and it's also called Lattes of Love. And I did remember to take a snapshot of it this time around. So here is everything that comes in that pack of ephemera. You get a ton of items. These are refill items. I just bought a new pad and a new pa pack of ephemera. I'm using the XOXO stamp and uh, stamp set that came also in the box of the month last month. I'm using three of the sentiments. Again, this is called XOXO. And then I also brought in some freebie enamel dots that I had received one of my orders. This one's Brewing It Up collection. So I decided to use it for one of those two colors, one of the reds for to finish off my project today. So I took out a, a Kit Kat bar because my sister-in-law wanted me to make some for her, her daughters, my nieces, uh, teachers. So we're going to do some Valentine's Day Kit Kat bar sleeves. I've already prepped several of them off camera um, and we'll do one together on camera. I'll give you all the dimensions and everything that you need to make this as well. And so here's what it'll look like once it's wrapped. I love using the Kit Kat for this project for Valentine's because of the red wrapper on the Kit Kat bar. I think it's just so super fun. It is a little chunky, uh, much more chunkier than like the Hershey bar. It's the 1.5 ounce, but it's a little bit thicker, a lot more like a Reese's. And so one thing too is that you see here, the back is a little bit wider than the front. And so when you you make the sleeve just remember that as well it's going to have a little bit of a gap right here in the two corners on the front right there you see one and then there's just one on the other side too so just keep an eye out for that that is normal that's just the way the Kit Kat bar is I made this sleeve sort of more of a rectangle just to make it super easy using that lattes of love paper to decorate the front I've already made 11 off camera we're going to do one together on camera together today let's go over the dimensions so I have my cardstock foundation four inches by six and a half you could use pattern paper for this but but because I'm using a six by six pad, I went ahead and opted for some cardstock. And then we're gonna score on the six and a half inch side at one and a half, two inches, and then four and a half and five inches. So all four scores on the six and a half inch side, which is the larger side, you're gonna go ahead and enforce them with your bone folder. I've already done that off camera. We're gonna add some double-sided adhesive to the top and the bottom on the inside flaps, which this is what it looks like. I'm just using some of this. Um, and then what we're gonna do is decorate the front. And so I've already decorated several of them. I pulled out two colors of cardstock. We're gonna just decorate a mat just like this. You see here, I have about a one eighth border all the way around. This is with a three and three quarters by two and a quarter inch uh, paper that gives you a one eighth border. I will list a couple of additional dimensions down in the description box below, depending on how much border you want. I'll list a one eighth and then one with no border at all. So I'll list, I'll list all those dimensions down below for you too. But this is the one that I'm using for today's project with the one eighth border. So then once we glue that mat down, we'll go ahead and add our little sentiment. I just die cut a heart and then I uh, added this Be My Valentine stamp. I colored it with an alcohol marker. I'm gonna add a couple of pieces of ephemera from this Lattes of Love ephemera pack, just like this. And then I'll, I'll come back and we'll finish it off with some enamel dots. So let's go ahead and start by gluing this, this mat. And again, I chose the one with a 1 8 border, um, but you can choose any one you want. And I'm gonna glue that to the front, just like this. And you could use wet glue or dry glue, either way the like double-sided adhesive would work as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue to my little sentiment here, put it on the left-hand side. You could also do a to and a from here, and then I'm gonna add some ephemera pieces. So I, I pulled out two of them. You see how it, it actually has the little handle already cut out, super cute, adding a little chocolate here. So that is the most of the decoration that's gonna go on the front. I'm gonna take out these enamel dots, and I just, I wanted to kind of test it out. I'm sort of auditioning it here, whether I want the lighter color or the darker color. I want the darker one, just because I think it matches a little bit better. I added three of them to the front of my candy sleeve here, and that's basically it. I mean, these are so super easy. We made some value 
Valentine's Day Kit Kat candy bar sleeves. Perfect for that one and a half inch ca uh, candy bar, the Kit Kat candy bar. Here's what they look like. I'll do a quick little flip through. I did add some additional enamel dots from my stash. Here's one where I use that love sentiment from the ephemera pack. Otherwise, I stamped and colored some sentiments. Here's one with the XOXO, also from that same stamp set. And then here's one with the Hello Friend. So again, I used three of the, the sentiments from that stamp set. Um, and I will list the name of it down below. It's called XOXO. And then, of course, our Lattes of Love collection from Not Too Shabby. We made these Kit Kat candy bar sleeves, perfect for Valentine's Day. Again, I'll list my affiliate link down below. It helps me anytime you make a purchase at no extra cost to you. So thank you so much for anybody who does use it. Thanks so much for visiting, everyone. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration. I hope you're enjoying your Valentine's Day crafting. As always, happy crafting.